I'm Holly Hunter and I'm playing Emma Parker, who is Bonnie Parker's mother. I tried my best to do right by her. Emma Parker is not a really known person, unlike Bonnie and Clyde. Emma Parker wrote a book within months after the death of Bonnie and Clyde. And that book was a great look into the love, the all forgiving nature of parents. In doing research of Emma, there was a great acceptance of Bonnie and Clyde. Even with the criminal nature of their actions, there was an acceptance in what they were doing. Bonnie became one of the celebrated criminals of the day, so you would have to say that there could be some parental lacks, but I think that there was obviously unconditional love that existed between the two. Taking a show? Maybe buy a new dress? <laughs> I got a little money saved. They didn't judge each other, both mother and daughter that there was a symbiosis there, a real true tightness that wasn't just so much mother and daughter, but like best friends. And I think more than anything, there was a support in the daughter's fantasy of movie stardom. But I don't think that it was her mother's dream. I think it's Bonnie's that fueled that fire. I think that whatever makes this child happy, that's what she wanted to do the one thing this mother wants to instill in her is self-belief that she could dream. And when all those kids froze up and forgot their parts. <laughs> you got that audience clapping? Who's got the moxie to just take over like that? You gave them what they wanted, Bon. And whatever she wanted to dream and however big she wanted to dream, that got this mother's validation. 